Hi everybody, I'm Abby and I am with Creative at Home. I have a mobile art studio and I'm so glad to uh, paint with you today. We're going to paint a really cool painting um, that's relaxing and uh, fun. So thank you for, for purchasing one of my kits um, and um, we're going to get ready to go. So uh, this is the video for the Serenity uh, painting. It's a really great painting with uh, some cute little succulents. Um, I love succulents. I <laughs> hope you guys do too. Uh, they're super fun and cute. I'm not as good at keeping them alive as I am with uh, painting them, but I am a work in progress, of course. So, um, so we're going to paint these three different uh, pieces. I'm painting today on a, an 11 by 14 uh, canvas panel and uh, welcome to my art studio. So um, we're going to go ahead and flip my screen over so that uh, we can go over supplies and uh, go ahead and, and get, okay. Technology, you gotta love it, right? Okay. So here we are. Again, we're painting uh, the Serenity painting. You're with Creative at Home. And uh, we'll get some better light on there so that we can see what we're doing. Um, so you can see this painting is a lot of different shades of greens and grays and browns. So we're going to do a lot of color mixing. Um, but the colors that you have in your kit. Um, we have purple, brown, white, black, and green. And this is acrylic paint. Um, and I have actually two plates here, one with my base colors and then another one that I'm going to use to to mix my colors um, so that we can make sure we have enough, enough room. Um, okay, so we have our paint. Um, I also have brushes. So I have a three quarters uh, wash brush in your kit. It may be your sponge, the black and uh, the black sponge, um, another flat brush and a, that's about a half inch flat brush and a, a number six round um, brush for some of the detail work. So um, we're going to roll with these three brushes. Your kit will have um, a set with more brushes, so if you feel the need to, to switch it up um, to get into more of the details or you want to add details using a different brush, you're more comfortable. So please feel free um, to do what you need to do. Uh, I also have a uh, paper towel here for blotting my brushes and a cup of water. Um, so we're using acrylic paint. It's uh, washable off of your hands, but it won't be washable off of any clothing um, or a lot of surfaces. So um, just be aware of that. I have a mat on my piece here. Um, okay, so this is on again 11 by 14 canvas um, panel and uh, it is a landscape orientation. So um, I'm going to go ahead and start with our blank canvas. I will use the other one to uh, reference throughout so we can keep it close. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do here with our paint is start some of our color mixing. Um, and we can use brushes uh, or what's called a paint, a paint knife. So this is just kind of like an offset spatula that I'm going to blend stuff together with. Um, okay, so the first color that we're gonna make uh, is really just the, a very light gray. So this is gonna be the majority of our background color. Um, so I'm just gonna grab, you can see I even got just a little bit of black on that. And I'm just gonna pull some of this white paint in here and just start making a very pale gray. And you can see I dipped that spatula in there. 
um, and it's already starting to darken that up. So we really just want a very pale gray color. Okay. And just add a little bit more black there to make it just somewhat gray. And so I like to have a streakier background. We're gonna actually add some streaks into it. Um, so you may not have to mix this all the way, but there is my light gray color. Um, and we're just gonna paint this whole canvas uh, with this, this gray color. So if we need to mix some more, we can. Um, it should be okay here. So um, if you need to mix more, go ahead. Um, but I'm just gonna start painting this canvas and you can see how light it is um, against the white canvas. It's, it's a pretty light color, gray. Um, and we'll just kind of keep painting over. And if you go um, in X strokes, I paint some diagonally this way and then change directions, you'll get pretty good coverage here. Um, now I'm painting flat if you prefer to paint on an easel, that works as well. Uh, I like to paint just flat here. Uh, we're just going to keep covering this canvas. My water cup, so I don't do that. And I just love this painting. I feel like painting itself is relaxing. Um, and then uh, painting this nice, calm, muted tone painting is even better. Uh, it's one of my favorite paintings that I teach. I actually keep my sample on display in my guest bathroom downstairs. So that's how much I love this one. So I'm glad I get to share it with you guys. All right there with the background and the bottom half of this canvas doesn't really have to be perfect with this light light gray because we're going to actually cover it with a darker gray in color um, but it is nice to uh, prime that canvas really well with paint so okay so I have my canvas fully painted here with the dark or with the, the very light gray and all I'm gonna do now um, is mix a little bit more gray um, in here on this and just make it slightly darker than um, we wanted the last time so we're just gonna go kind of to a normal gray, which is about uh, three quarters of white paint to one quarter of black. And you'll start to see that gray color mix in. Actually, I want to make enough here to paint the bottom half of our canvas. I'm gonna add just a little bit more. Oops. That all mixed. Okay. Okay, so I'm just going to take um, while this gray background is still wet, you can see it's still shiny. Um, we're just going to take little bits of this gray and brush it over 
this top section here um, to make sure that we just add some streaks in to just add some interest into the background. And by doing it while it's still wet, you really get uh, some blending that you want to happen. So we're going for a real kind of abstract, um, fairly pale uh, piece. And you can just kind of keep working that in until you see a look that you're happy with. And again, it doesn't have to be perfect because we are going to paint, um, this is just the background. So we're gonna paint the majority of our, of our painting over the top, okay? So I'm pretty happy with that. Um, and I'm gonna take the bottom canvas, bottom quarter of this canvas using that same dark, the same gray color that I just painted and um, kind of make that tabletop area. Okay, so just going to paint horizontally across the bottom here so that it um, looks like a table, okay? I'm just gonna, you can turn your brush as opposed to painting this way you can paint this way and you'll get a cleaner line on the tabletop edge. Okay. Straight across is fine. Again, it's just the background because we don't want to just paint on a stark white canvas. Okay. All right. Back and my canvas is dry. The background is completely dry. We're going to uh, get started here on the, uh, the example back in here. Go ahead, go ahead and get started on the, the vases or the pots that these succulents are in. Um, so the first one we're going to do is going to be this back one here, um, and it's kind of a, a grayish brown color, and then you can see we have a lighter gray one and a darker gray one. So we're going to, again, do some color work. That's the most technical part of this painting, is um, mixing the colors so that you're, you're happy with them. So again, we're going to work on this one here first. Um, so I am going to mix a little bit more of my light gray that we used for the background. Um, again, so we have white paint and we'll use this gray again. So you want to kind of keep that around. Um, and we're just going to grab the teeniest bit of black. Um, Mix that up. If you need to add some more white, you can because that black goes a long way. <laughs> um, okay, so we have our lighter gray shade. Um, so now I'm going to actually move some of that lighter gray shade over here. And I'm going to add the teeniest bit, just a little bit of brown to start working in and making that tannish, that grayish tan color, okay? So we're gonna just kind of keep putting in little bits of brown and it is much easier to add more to a color of the color that you're trying to blend in than to try to add the colors that you um, already had to go back a shade. So add a little bit at a time. So for example, it's easier to add more brown in this situation than it's going to be to add 
black or white to, to get it back if we get too much brown. So, because that's the color we're adding in. Um, so just kind of a little bit more in there. And still think we need to add some more here. I wanted a little bit more brown than gray. there. All right. <laughs> so we took the long way to get there, but this is the color that we're going for. Kind of a grayish brown. It's a little hard to see it in the light. And again, this is just my example. If you want a different color, um, you go right ahead. Uh, it's your creation and your painting, so uh, you can do what you want. Um, okay, so I'm going to switch now from that larger brush or sponge that you were using to this uh, half-inch flat brush. Um, this gives us a little bit more detail. Um, so it is um, in this picture here. It is tall and skinny, so um, we're going to start. You can see how it starts just slightly off center. Um, the center of the base is kind of here, so we're going to go there. So we're going to start. If this is the center of your canvas. We'll start to have shoot to have the center of this base be kind of right in that area. So I'm going to use my brown paint um, and it is about an inch down um, from the tabletop. So you don't want to start right where the color meets. It want, you want it to be actually sitting on the table. Um, and the base uh, can be about two to three inches long. So if you think about it, it's a curve because uh, it's round. So you kind of just kind of bring it out that way. Okay. So trying to get the a little bit of a glare today. Um, that's going to be kind of your base. Okay, and then we're going to go up some. Um, and then it's going to flare out because we want the, the top of it to be six inch, or the sides are going to be about six inches long. So if you think, and they flare up a little bit like that. Okay. So I'm just kind of sketching it with my brush. I can uh, there we go. So that's our base outline for the base. And we'll just uh, paint this in, and then we're going to work on some of the details of it, okay? All right, if you need to clean up your edges, you can clean up your edges. Um, just using this. Okay. All right, so we have the general shape of this, and uh, then we're going to start 
adding some of the, the vertical lines. Um, so what we can do though is we're going to add a vertical or a horizontal brim. Um, and to do that, I'm just going to take, without rinsing my brush out, I'm just going to add some, some brown paint into my paint that I was using. And you can just kind of brush that in. Okay. Just to kind of give it some detail there. All right, and then um, start we can start using that brown to kind of bring some some vertical lines down here. We're going to add some black in there too. Just want to go starting to okay. I'm just using, I'm not rinsing my brush. I'm just using the colors and letting them blend kind of naturally um, to give it that perspective and texture. Um, and then you can add more in as you need it. Okay, so we have that and then just kind of keep blending all that stuff in, giving it texture. Okay. There we go. Just kind of keep blending it vertically. And then we're actually going to start adding some other lighter texture to bring this all together. Okay. So we're just so now I'm going to kind of get the darker side out and I'm going to just pick up a little bit of white and do the same thing. So this is, you can see how there's very, very little white on there and I'm just going to kind of paint. So I went up, get some more there. So I'm painting the alternate sides sections with the white highlights as opposed to the black and brown low lights. And we'll see that start to add depth and interest to this pot. Okay. Just kind of so your highlights, low lights. There we go. Okay.
There we go. And sometimes it helps to kind of hold it back um, and stand back from your artwork. Uh, if you're not happy with something, you can always let it dry um, and then come back to it so that, because um, then you can cover it up. So while I'm painting here and it's still wet, I'm letting the colors blend together because that's what I want to happen. Um, but if you want to just, if you make a mistake and you want to cover something up, then you'll want to kind of start, you want to let it dry all the way. Uh, so I'm also going to add just a little bit more black to my, to my brush here. And I'm actually going to just get as much of it out as I can and do what they call dry brushing. So I'm just going to kind of add, it's all about layering the color here. And dry brushing adds some, um, almost like you're rubbing, a crayon rubbing of the, of the paint on here. Um, so that's the first, uh, first vase. Um, so then the second one is, that we're going to go to when you're finished with that one is on the right side uh, if you're looking at the painting. So we're looking at doing this darker gray vase now. Um, so you can see it overlaps the one behind, so it's going to be in the forefront of the picture. And it is about, um, about a half inch from the edge of my canvas. Uh, and then it goes up about, it's going to go up to about this much of my thing. So I'm going to I'm going to sketch that out here. Um, but first we need to make that dark gray color. Okay, so more paint mixing. We want to mix now because we want this to dry while we paint over it. So um, the dark gray is basically equal parts uh, white and black. So we're going to go back to our white paint and our black paint and uh, equal parts go in here. Um, looks good. I'll just kind of get that going. So kind of a charcoal color. If you prefer it to be darker or lighter, go for it. All up to you. All right, so we've got our dark gray, um, and we're gonna go back to the same brush that we just did the first base with, and you're gonna have to get that paint out really well. Water it on your paper towel. You wanna get as much water out of there as you can. Um, I like to try the handle of my brush off. Okay, so like I said, we're gonna be about, let's just kind of sketch this out. So um, I'm gonna be about, if I were to make this a rectangle, um, and it's not, it's more of a circular shape, but we're gonna have one point there, one point here, and then there and here. Okay, so that's kind of the four corners, the four corners of my shape. Um, and I'm gonna use the, I'm not gonna paint it with the fat side, I'm gonna use the skinnier side here. And I'm just gonna start kind of shaping this out. So. It's got rounded sides. 
kind of like parentheses. So I've got my parentheses and then a slightly rounded bottom. And the same curve level at the top. Okay. So that is the general shape of that second piece. Um, okay. So we're going to just kind of start painting in this shape. And I'm gonna do horizontal strokes on this, uh, just because that's the way the, all the strokes are gonna be on this one, as opposed to vertical on this one. Um, just to add that variety. Right. I'm going to clean up my edges if I need to. Okay. All right, so that's our second base. Um, so the detailing for this is um, going to be um, kind of a darker gray. So we're going to add just a little bit more black. This is all shades of gray, if you haven't noticed already. Um, just going to add a little bit of black to a section of this dark gray so that we can make it even darker. Um, you can see it here. So it's not quite black, but it's definitely darker than it, than it was. And going to start to make some kind of horizontal stripes that follow the there we go. Get that light off of there a little so it's easier to see some of these colors. So we're just gonna kind of bring this over. some stripes here. Make that darker. Okay, so we have some details there. Um, so we'll just add those stripes and you can keep playing with it. Okay, and then the same thing, we're just gonna take some of that lighter, some of those lighter shades of gray that you have and white ultimately, but we're just going to kind of blend those in using very small amounts of paint on the brush, just kind of blending those in so that they 
add highlights. Okay, this is not painting lines. You just want to kind of offset those lines and add some, some detail to it, okay? So I'm using the medium gray that we painted the table with to add these right now. And then I'll add some even lighter colors here in a minute. Okay. There we go. You can see how much that starts to make those darker pieces really stand out. So we can just keep adding those. Okay. And then you can even take just the tiniest bit, teeny tiny bit of white, and again, get off as much as you can. And then just add some highlights on this side. Just to add the teeniest bit of like a light showing off on it. And it all adds color and texture to that, to that vase, okay? So we talked about a little bit about um, if you make mistakes, like here I'd like to have this little bit of a cleaner edge. I'm not gonna fix that until I'm sure that everything is dry and then I can come behind with that color and the background color and kind of fix those little areas um, just to clean up those lines a little bit. But I'm gonna move on to the vase that goes here and then we'll come back to that, so. Um, Okay, so it's this last one here is like a trapezoid um, bowl or vase, pot, whatever you want to call it. Um, so you can see here it is much more slanted of the sides. So these sides curved in, these were at a small slant. This one is much more open, um, so short, squatty, uh, and open. So we're gonna use the medium gray that we use to do the tabletop, but we're gonna also use this lighter gray um, and then some white and some darker gray. So lots of shades of gray here. Um, I'm gonna get to continue with the same flat uh, shaded brush that we have. Shade brush. Um, okay, so this one is going to have a, a slight curve. Um, and I'm going to use the lighter gray to kind of sketch this out so that I can uh, have an idea of where I want it to go. So, um, I want it to end probably, it's going to be, so this one is our lowest and this one is our highest and this is our, our uh, middle child or uh, base. So we want it to be sitting on the, the table there and there. Okay, so we'll just kind of Okay, so we have our bottom and then we can sketch it out um, pretty much to the edge of the canvas. With just the slightest little 
overlap. All right. All right, so I'm just going to fill it, start filling this in. I'm going to move into that medium gray now that I've got the outline. And work on that shape just a little bit more. And it's going to blend with that lighter gray that I did underneath. Just kind of work on, we want this bowl to be lighter than the other two. So I'm going to paint it and then we're going to work on shaping and shading. I'm going to get a clean edge here. Okay. So we have the general shape of it, um, <clears throat> excuse me, and now I'm going to start going over, put that decorative band, this is just with white paint. Okay, I'll probably need to add some more. Okay, I'm just going to kind of highlight that outer edge. With that white. Okay, and we'll just keep blending all that together. Just going to keep So with the other ones, we've been dry brushing with white to add dimension. Again, we're going to stand back from it. Um, with this one, I'm going to keep lightening it up. But and then I'm going to add some detailing with the black. Okay. So, but what I'm going to do is get my shape the way I want it, and then I'm going to let it sit and dry a little bit, um, and then come back and add some some more of those shades so that we can get this color right. Okay, so we have the ability here to um, clean up this line a little bit here. It's been bugging me since we're dry. So I'm using that light gray color. I'll clean up this line a little. 
just kind of clean up your edges. Um, and then I'm going to do the same thing with my darker medium gray. And then we'll be ready to move on to the plants. And you can see if we had done that while um, it was wet, it would have smeared it and blended it. But here, because it's dry, it just covers it right up and we're ready to go. Okay, so sometimes if you're not happy with what you've got, it's nice to just take a breather and let things uh, settle <laughs> just a little bit. Okay, so I am going to get a couple more plates. Okay. All right, I'm back. We're going to finish up this bowl here. By adding some more of this white stripe. to give it some fun detailing. And then some nice edging. So I'm just doing this with the white paint. I'm just tracing it around. There we go. Just to give it Some more shading. Okay. All right. So you can see the bowl here. And we're going to um, it's a little easier to see that bowl. Um, just going to take this and use a little tiny bit of that dark gray that we added the dark stripes here. And on my paper towel, get as much of it out as I can and just add some details here. Give it some Okay. All right, so I think we're going to let that one go. <clears throat> okay, so we now have um some brown paint to use some more gray and some green so we're going to start on this 
first one here. So it's reminiscent of kind of a jade plant it has this fat, juicy uh, looking leaves. Um, so we're gonna mix some grayish green colors and uh, start on this plant here, okay? So to mix that gray green, I'm just gonna really just use this gray that I had here. Um, and add some green to it and see where we end up. So if we need to add a little bit more, can we add some of this gray? Just kind of use up the some of those grays you already have before you mix it up. But we want that nice gray green color here. Okay, we're gonna use this for a fair amount, and then we'll adjust the shades based on the plants and those kind of things. So again, we have our same uh, half inch square brush. We're going to use this grayish green color and I'm just going to draw big kind of juicy teardrop shape leaves. Okay. And this is just to get an outline of the plant and we'll work on some of the shading um, as we go. So this one will be kind of the tallest. Okay, you can see that. And then in the front here, maybe we'll have a smaller one. Like that. We can have one coming out this way. And you can do that with shading as well, but okay. And then Probably want to one going out that direction and I'm going like that. Okay, so there's the the basis of our plant. Um Now we want to add a little bit of a little bit of purple, not much, um, to our stuff. So I'm actually just going to use my brush and pick up just about that much purple. Uh, might need a little bit more of that, but I'm just going to make this purplish green. Um, and again, if you don't like it, you can pull more green in or need more quantity, you can do it that way. Okay, so we're just kind of making that greenish purple color. Um, and this is going to be um, part of the shading on this, so the darkened parts. Um, so I'm going to start, you can see I have a lot of paint in my brush. So I'm going to start on some of the bigger ones so that I can blend it in. But I'm just going to start adding it in. With these, I'm just going to kind of push a little bit in there. Um, 
and then here. And as you need more, you can. There we go. Okay. So I'm going to try to get some of that out of there and then just kind of blend it a little bit so that it shades in. And we can always go back over it with some of the regular gray green. And just kind of start blending it in there. Okay, you can kind of see how that's all working through. Okay, so there we have our leaves. Um, and then the majority of them. And then we're going to switch to this smaller brush. And I'm just going to work through some of these areas and do some shadowing, okay? So this is very small amounts of paint. And just kind of get it with that dark gray. In there. Again, very, very small amounts. The brushes not very loaded. You want it to be, or I do, just kind of be streaky a little. So get some paint on, brush it off, and that'll be just about enough to get you the color and the shading that you want. All right, then I'm actually going to do the same thing with the, uh, the smallest little bit of white. Um, so again, get my paint on my brush, and then Just kind of keep working on the kind of the opposite sides of those leaves that you shade. So you have the yin and the yang or the light and the dark. Okay, you can kind of, you can certainly see it start to come, come alive here. Okay, all right. So there is our first plant. 
you can check that one off. <laughs> um, okay, so the plant on the right over here is more of your uh, aloe. So this is a jade, your jade plant. This is more of your aloe plant. Um, we're going to continue to use this long uh, rounded brush. Um, and we're going to use this gray green that we've mixed. That was the start of that one as well. Um, but we're just gonna start with some leaves here. And these leaves are more pointed at the end. Okay. Like that. And if you want to start from the, the point, sometimes that's easier. Um, and you can do the back layer. So again, these are in front of that, this vase and plant is in front of the one we were just working on. So we wanna make sure we paint over that so we keep the perspective correct, okay. Getting those leaves done. All right, so those are kind of the basic ones. We'll paint those in. And then we can start filling in the holes and making it look full. All right. <laughs> oh, this green. Went from gray to green. Tell you what though, it sure is a relaxing exercise. I'm so focused on getting all these leaves right that I have no idea what's going on in the rest of my house. <laughs> Hopefully my kids aren't going crazy. Um, my husband is watching them, so I'm sure they're fine. But um, So I just kind of have this hole. I, I, this just formed kind of, for, for me, naturally, it just kind of went the direction I wanted. Um, but if I want to make a leaf, that's behind this here. I can just kind of start it where it is. And then paint it in. Again, you can, we're gonna add more shading and all that kind of stuff. And then you can think about putting more leaves in the front, but but we'll have to do that with, with the shading. So we just wanna kind of get that outline and coat here. There we go. Okay, so we're just gonna start shading this just like we did with the um, the jade plant. Um, and instead of mixing new colors, I'm just gonna, without rinsing this gray green brush, um, just gonna pick up some of this 
darker green or dark gray, I'm sorry, dark gray, and start kind of mixing it. And then you can go and start shading the underside of these leaves. Just like that. Just pick up some more. And then here, this is where you can start to use Just kind of blending all this in here. You can add some of those smaller pieces in here in the front. Just keep kind of shading those pieces. Just kind of keep. So a lot of times when you're shading, it kind of looks like a mess until all of a sudden it just kind of clicks. Okay, so I'm just adding color where I think it needs it. And then it'll start to shape and, and come together. So now I'm going to just add a little bit of white to some of that green here and do the same thing but kind of on the other side of these leaves okay and you think oh my gosh it's going to be this crazy too bright color and then you start to see it and blend it in with the rest of the leaves and it starts to work. So you just kind of have to keep loving it. And sometimes stepping back from it um, makes it easier. because you can see how the colors blend together and turn it into leaves. Like, so I feel like I need some darkness in that area. So I'm just gonna pick some of that up and just add it back in. So I over lighten that section. So now that's starting to look a little bit more like it's multiple leaves as opposed to one big green blob. <laughs> um, so just kind of work on it and keep going, keep blending. 
All right. So there is the aloe plant. And we have one more. We're in the home stretch here. <laughs> um, okay, so this is mostly get our display. Um, so you can see it's kind of more of a troll hair-ish looking um, piece. And I we're just gonna kind of squiggle up with it and add some different colors and blend it together. So um, we are going to um, grab the green brush here. Sorry, the brush we've been using for the this, and we're going to use that same gray green, and we're just going to start with these squiggles, okay? And we're just going to fill this in. If you want to make it all the same height, you can, or you can shape it so that it's shorter on the sides. It's up to you. So we're just going to keep drawing these up. And you can see that it's just like the other ones. It's gonna look like one big green blob before we start doing our shading magic. So I'm just gonna keep filling this in in that same motion. Kinda of making sure that that background is the way we want it. And then we'll start with those brighter and darker colors to get it okay so now we're going to just start pulling in some white color. I don't have a glare there. Um, and some of the darker gray with the green. You can start kind of going sideways and just mixing it up here. And pull white. Keep going up. All right. 
And then if you feel the need to go back dark, you can. I'm just kind of until you like your mixture of shadows and interest on it. Just keep layering the light and the dark. I might be there soon here. All right, let's pull this over here. Okay, so I'm pretty happy with that. Um, might come back and add a little darker. There we go. Okay, so you can see that the the light makes a difference, but so does the dark. It's it's all about the the combination of the two, and that's the the cool thing about this painting is you don't really have that many colors, but you can end up with so many different um, ways things look and appear. So, um, all right. So once you're happy with your plants. Um, the last thing we're going to do is add some shadows to um, to our vases, the bottoms of our vases. And if you would like to add, you know, a little bit more detailing in the back, um, the background, you can, we can do that at this point too. So um, I actually need to make just a little bit more of this dark gray to be able to finish it out. I'm running out. So I'm going to make more. And my dark gray. And so we want to put some shading or some shadows underneath. Um, these bases, okay, and you can kind of see here, this is the section that we're, we're working on right here, so you want to kind of extend it, they all go in the same direction and you're going to extend them along the bottom here and have it taper up so that you have the way that the light is is coming in. So, um, all right, so we're going to, to give this a good, uh, give this a go. Um, so you can start with the first one here. Um, and again, it's always easier to add paint to your brush, but it is hard to, to take it off. So I'm just going to kind of start by drawing it out like that and then just painting it in and seeing how that looks. I think probably want to bring it down a little bit like that. Okay. So if you feel like you just need to kind of keep keep going, but don't over don't overwork it there. Um, all right. So then you want to do the same thing on this one. Mm -hmm. 
I need to darken this one up because it looks like, it, for me at least, it's the same color as my uh, vase. So, just add Add some black in there. Okay, and we have one more. And then we are signing our artwork. So this one, I'm gonna make a little more shallow to start. Okay, and there we go. So there we have our Serenity painting. Um, if you would like to sign your artwork, I usually sign my artwork with my initials um, and a very small brush just in the bottom left corner, or right corner, excuse me. But you can do whatever you would like. Um, and uh, thank you so much for painting with me. I have enjoyed this. Um, that concludes the Serenity painting class. I appreciate it and uh, hopefully You'll continue to purchase kits uh, from me and Creative at Home. I love to do live events as well as the recorded kits. I uh, do group events, kids' birthday parties, Girl Scout troops, youth events, and we have uh, lots of different ways that you can be creative. Um, you can check out my website at uh, www.creativeathome art and uh, check out all of our services that we offer uh, and you can also hopefully like and share this uh, this video on YouTube so um, hope to hear from you soon hope to paint with you again and uh, have a great night